Well, uh, today's extreme weather, according to some experts, fits into the pattern of increasing climate change. And tonight we can reveal the results of a comprehensive survey of climate change which projects the likely trend for the next 70 years and beyond. Here to unveil uh, all the detail is our environment correspondent, David Shukman. Hugh, thank you. Dangerous scales, but mild temperatures today. Exactly what's forecast for British winters as the climate changes. And tonight, the BBC's own climate prediction project backs that up. We have the first results from the biggest computer study of its kind into the British weather decades ahead. BBC News on Thursday, the 18th of January, 2080. This is Rory Morrison. Major flooding has affected large parts of the United Kingdom for the 30th consecutive day. The scientists may be wrong, but their predictions for global warming look more reliable than ever. At Oxford University today, I was shown the first results of this massive project. The public were invited to help. The aim to run computer projections of the future climate as many times as possible. More than 50,000 people took part, and each of these lines represents their findings. Together they show one very clear trend, a sharp rise in Britain's average temperature. By 2020, up more than one degree centigrade. By 2050, up two and a half. By 2080, up four degrees. Each person taking part has contributed one possible version of future climate. And so by well over 50,000 people taking part, we have much greater confidence in how future climate's going to change. And the prediction is for a lot more of the kind of weather we're having today. Very strong winds, heavy rain, a lot more flooding. Weather that we now think of as extreme is forecast to become far more common. One danger for an island nation, rising sea levels and storm surges overcoming flood defences. The research suggests serious flooding will become more likely. Another extreme, summer heat. Heat waves can buckle railway tracks and even melt the roads. This study, like others, forecasts more of this. Jason Borthwick was one of the thousands who took part in the computer project, worried, he says, about his daughter's future. We could lose huge swathes of land um, just because people can't be bothered to switch off lights and turn down their heating. Um, and, And that's really quite scary. Now, the researchers say there's obviously a margin of error in their results, but what matters is the trend towards a warmer Britain, drier in summer, stormier in winter. You can see the full results in a special programme presented by Sir David Attenborough at 8 o'clock on Sunday evening on BBC One. Hugh. David, thank you very much.